Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it also helps us reach others who want to test their math skills with these types of test questions. And this will be our 33rd part in this particular series. And what we have going on in this video is that we have to determine the area of the red region for the semicircle shown here. And we are given some information on the picture. We are shown that A to B is say, or eight centimeters, B up to C is 16 centimeters, C down to D is 28 centimeters. And for this overall white triangle, we have an angle of theta here at D and then two times theta over here at B. So <clears throat> one piece of key information that we need to determine here is the distance from B to D. So this B to D information will give us the overall base for our triangle and adding that with eight centimeters will give us the overall diameter for our semicircle so we can overall find the area for the semicircle and then subtract out the area for our white triangle and that would give us our answer. So let's work on getting BD first. So finding BD with the given information here, what we're going to do is we're going to use the law of signs in order to help solve the triangles. Now it's not going to give us exactly BD, we have to do another step, but this will help us get in the right direction. So utilizing the law of sines, we are going to find out what theta is. So our law of sines, we're going to have sine of 2 theta divided by the side that is opposite to 2 theta, which is the 28 centimeters, must be equal to the sine of theta divided by the side that is opposite it, which is the 16 centimeters. So thetas are only unknown in here, so we can rearrange and solve for it. So let's go ahead and do that, cross multiply, and we end up with 28 sine of theta is equal to 16 sine of 2 theta. So we're going to have to do a trig identity uh, substitution here, and we're going to try to get rid of the sine 2 theta. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this over here in this corner, where we would have 28 sine of theta is equal to 16 times 2 sine theta cosine theta because this portion right here of sine two theta is equal to two sine theta cosine theta. So what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna take the 16, multiply it by two, gives me 32, and then I'm going to remove the sine theta from each side here. So we end up with 28 is equal to 32 cosine of theta. So we can rearrange and we can solve for our theta here, which would simply just be theta is equal to cosine inverse of 28 over 32, and that gives me an angle of 28.955 degrees, of course, rounded off. So now that I know what theta is, and I can get what 2 theta is, but the whole goal was to get this angle up here at C. So the angle at C will just be 180 degrees, subtracting off my theta, and then minus off my 2 theta, so this would be 180 degrees minus off 28.955 degrees and then subtracting off two times 28.955 degrees. So essentially subtracting off three times that theta angle. And that gives me an angle up there at 93.135 degrees for angle at C. So why did I target the angle at C? Well, because I can use the law of cosines then to determine what BD is because I know two of the sides of the triangle and then I know the angle opposite my unknown side. So utilizing the law of cosines, I can find what BD is equal to. So let's go ahead and just switch colors on that. So my law of cosines equation for BD would look like this, where I would have BD is equal to 16 plus 28 squared. So 16 squared plus 28 squared. So my two sides that are known squared added together. Then subtracting off two times those sides of 16 times 28, and then multiplied by the cosine of the angle that's opposite the side I'm targeting, which is angle C of 93.135 degrees, and then you have to square root all of that. So once this is all done, BD comes out to be 33 centimeters, an actual nice number. So now that I have BD, which is 33 centimeters, I can get my overall diameter for my semicircle, but for the white triangle, one piece of information still remains. I need to determine what is my overall height here. So what I can do is I can draw a perpendicular line from C down to BD, and I can use this right side right triangle using theta and the 28 centimeters to find out what this height needs to be. 
So let's go ahead and find that height there. And my equation for that would be this, where I would have my sine of my theta angle, which is 28.955 degrees, would be equal to my height h over 28 centimeters. So my height for my overall triangle would be 13.555 centimeters. So now with the height of the triangle and the base of the triangle, I can determine the overall area for my triangle. So my area of my white triangle would be one half times the base, which is 33 centimeters times the height, which we just found at 13.555 centimeters. And this gives us a total of 223.6575 centimeters squared. So I just need my overall area for my semicircle, which would be <clears throat> 33 plus eight would be my diameter, divide that by two, and that gives us the radius. And then my area of my semicircle would just be pi r squared over two. So my area of my semicircle, we need to find out what the radius is first. So r would just be 33 plus eight over two, which gives me 20.5 centimeters. So my area then would be pi r squared over two, which is going to be pi times 20.5 centimeters squared over two, which gives me roughly 660.127 centimeters squared. So my overall area in red then would just be taking my semicircle and then subtracting off the area of the triangle. So my area in red would be 660.127 centimeters squared, subtracting off 223.6575 centimeters squared. And that gives me a total area remaining in red inside that semicircle of 436.47 centimeters squared. Of course, that's rounded off. And that's how you would solve that particular problem. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a new math skill from it and along the way. And if you want to test your abilities even further, please check out the other videos on our channel as this is the 33rd part in this particular series. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below and subscribe to the channel because all that does help us out greatly. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.